ready to open the beer. Come on, talk, talk, go, go. Welcome to another edition of BeerAmerica.tv. And we are continuing the theme of holiday beers. And uh, very luckily today, as uh, we were trading emails, oh, by the way, let me do some introductions. David Little is back with us today, who's been Howdy. with us before. And John Pinkerton. Oh. <laughs> no, that's my son. Yeah. Hey, you stealing on. his You have son. your own thing, man. What do and, I do? Uh, and as we were trading emails, talking about uh, what kind of beers we want to do that would be good with food, good for warm, you know, cold weather, you know, warm you up. Uh, I'm a big fan of Scotch ales, and you came across. Uh, you said you, you had this is your offering, so please. Oh, actually, uh, Bobby Bush, another prominent beer writer in the Southeast, mm -hmm. uh, this happened to pop in the other day um, on holiday, as yeah. it were. Yeah. And uh, he brought me uh, a sample of this French Broad Brewing Company beer. And these guys are kind of known for uh, just keeping it very interesting in North Carolina, in Asheville. Right. Uh, Asheville, particular. yes, yep. Asheville, North Carolina beer. They uh, they do a lot of Belgian stuff, uh, and this beer is kind of a Belgian Scottish yep. thing. Yep. Before we began taping this, I said, uh, David, we're having the We Heavy Year, and you said, no, we're having the We Heavy Yes. We Heavy Yes. So in your email, we were having the We Heavy Year, but actually it's the We Heavy Yes. Oh, did I, did I, I miss it? It's the We no. Heavy Year taken to 11. And when we talked right. about scotch ales, and uh, as we had done uh, a scotch ale in the past, we did the duck rabbit. Um, and you know what I didn't know actually when we were taping this because I'm an idiot was that we heavy actually meant. <laughs> Why that, should you uh, be any different well, than the rest? We of heavy. Us. I thought, watch what a fun name, but it actually has a meaning. It does. It means it an, does. it's kind of or an extreme scotch ale. It's a higher than eight uh, percent. It's uh, kind of kind of the highest of the uh, right. of the Scottish ales. Well, so actually, the we heaviest is. No. 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 Oh, you got another one? You want a higher? Well. Scotch heavy is going to be, or Scotch strong ale is going to be higher than. Okay, the strong heavy. ale. Well, you never can get a strong ale, though. Well, you make, a, you make the strong ale, though, don't you? What's yours? Yours? Maybe that's a, an American interpretation. This is another portion well, of the, I mean, the segment that we will cut the, out. Well, the Scottish. The, <laughs> oh, okay. Well, the Scottish beers typically they they use the old shilling, yep. uh, which was the tax. So there's the 60s, 70s, 80, 90, and at some point somebody started saying, okay, mm -hmm. if it's above. The 90 shilling, we'll call them we heavies. Okay. And you had talked about in the past, there are several categories uh, of Scotch ales, which you uh, had judged at the Great American Beer Festival. And yeah. this is actually, and, and typically they come in below 8%. When you say Scotch ale, right. this is at 9%. It's a big one. Yeah. That's why it's called the we heavy yes. We heavy yes. So how about that? Well, there you go. So there you go. So let's open it. And with the Belgian it. twist. As it were. Well, and this is there is another beer. All right, uh, talk there's about a, that. There's a brewery in uh, in Belgium, the uh, the Ashuf Brewery, mm -hmm. uh, that do one that's called Mixuf. And there there's actually a historical connection between Belgium and Scotland. That's all you get. Oh, and half of it's on the table. That's all right. Can I have a straw? Can I have a, yeah, a straw? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, so there there's, there's always been kind of a long connection historically between the Scots and the Belgians. Mm -hmm. And uh, really? and yeah yeah actually the Scots would. Um, mm -hmm were known to be mercenary soldiers mm -hmm. and fought in many of the European wars, which many of them were fought in Belgium. So the Scots would bring the kind of beer that they liked mm -hmm. with them, uh, and the Belgians actually would pick up some of that, some of those, uh, some of those techniques. But the McShoof, uh is a, it's an excellent, you get the beautiful malt of the, mm -hmm. of the Scottish beers and you get that wild, funky mm -hmm. Belgian yeast character that's it's amazing. So you if, you're, right if you're having a war, it's all fun and games until the Scots, <laughs> until the Scots show up. <laughs> hey, no war has ever been lost that was led into by a bagpipe. Except for Culloden, but we don't talk about Culloden. So it, it, it gives me chills. As far chills. as you know. <laughs> <laughs> we don't talk about Culloden. Yeah, we don't talk about Culloden. Didn't happen, didn't happen, didn't it? You know, there's a lot of beer geeks out there. As it turns out, there are a couple of Scottish <laughs> geeks sitting at the table. <laughs> Well, I say God. that in the most I, I loving family kind of way. Yeah. We've cool. got a Scottish event coming up. We do. Uh, uh, St. Andrew's Day is coming up. St. Andrew's up. Day, yeah. That's yeah. Right. Which we, which, which the Duck Rabbit uh, um, came out on November 30th. Uh, so uh, go back to oh, that uh, uh, that episode, it, uh, which you'll find in the archive. We have a Scottish event coming up. No, going up? Coming up? I don't know. No. We're gonna go back. I can't deal with this actual actually, time line yeah, it's a, thing. It's a whole web thing. Don't worry about it. You'll so, catch yeah. up. Drink the beer and tell us about it. That's all they want to know. 
So what did you get right off the bat? I get, I get the multiple. With David on board, it's like a virtual, continuous. Yeah, it's not about now. Segue. It's the web. We're actually taping this before Thanksgiving. Okay, all right. I'm gonna lay it right on the table right now. So no, David it's knows. after Thanksgiving. 2000. But it will. It'll air. So it'll, right. Yeah. It'll air after Thanksgiving when you, when you get this. Well, what I I'm getting is a hell of a lot of malt. A lot of malt. Yeah. There is uh, a lot of some caramel, some, some booze going on here. There's a little alcohol. I gotta say, I've had a, it's not a Scotch ale that I've disliked at this point, but I could see why this is the wee heaviest. This has got that little extra oomph mm. in it. In it. That's that's at eleven. Yeah. yeah so, no, the, um, beautiful malts. Mm. A lot of you know the caramel malt, that melanoidin that the the Scots like to have. Yeah. Um, the, 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 the Belgian character is a little less pronounced than the mixture, but I would I mean I would expect that. But <clears throat> but I do get some of the uh, those, those kind of nice little spicy notes from mm -hmm. the Belgian yeast. Really smooth beer, really smooth beer. <laughs> well, I, I think one of the nice things about this one is the, uh, but with that the, there's that sweetness still from the malt. Yeah. So it's that, not it's not wonderful. real bitter. It's yeah. not real aggressive. We, we call this a Kenny beer. A Kenny. A Kenny. Um, talk about a Kenny Scott. It's a, it's a wise Scott. It's somebody who maybe they'll pay a little bit, but they're getting a lot for their money. So it's all quality. Right. So you know. exactly quality. quality. Obscure Scottish reference. Quality. So we've got the uh, well, it's a, it's a the French broad Scott. out of Asheville, uh, North Carolina. Uh, uh, and uh, I'm sorry, Asheville, South Carolina. No, North Carolina. Asheville, North Carolina. North Carolina. Oh, North Carolina. Sorry. See, you know what? That's why I have glasses and I need more, like, and high power. I just went to the eye doctor. Look, How about look, that? Look I know the, Asheville. I've actually been to Asheville, so thank you very let's much. Grab, let's grab you a, a beer bottle and you look through okay. those. That'll, that'll be good. The so it is the, uh, let me, because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to edit this and I have the power. <laughs> 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 because I sit down in my little room and I'm editing away. I'm going to start over. <laughs> I will not look stupid on this. Oh, that's I, good. I, I, so it's the French Broad uh, out of Asheville, North Carolina. As I Asheville? told you guys, right. you keep insisted it's South Carolina, but it's North Carolina. <laughs> yeah, Asheville. <that's> you. <laughs> Asheville, which is a great beer town. Right, and it's awesome beer town. Yeah, and Brews and Ales has been somebody who's been following me for a while. So thank you, Brews and Ales, out of uh, Asheville, uh, for supporting BeerAmerica.tv. Oh, well, we have to go see him when we go up for the uh, the, yeah. the uh, big great beer, beer place. And, yeah. and uh, so great it's grass. the We Heavy Est. Uh, Scottish Ale, and it's a wonderful beer. And so, so that's not in front of me again, is it? Is it in front of you? No. <laughs> so for for BeerAmerica.tv, if you have any questions or comments, uh, Paul at BeerAmerica.tv and Pink at BeerAmerica.tv. You're dreading us so much. I should have done like say, a David. At can Beer I say David TV. not at Beer America? No, David, that's a whole other domain. Yeah, David's or got his so. whole other beer thing going, but yeah. we'll probably get him an email address soon so you can harass him as well. And uh, cool. Check us out on Twitter, Facebook, like all that goodness. Harassed. Cheers, <laughs> everybody. Happy holidays. Another good, uh, another good one for uh, winter, Cheers. for warm weather, and for food. Cheers. Uh, God bless the Scots. God bless. The Scots. God bless. The Scots. God bless the Scots.